This video will introduce you to the OMM technique known as rib raising in the lateral recumbent position. There's a variation of this technique called rib raising in the supine position. We'll start with lateral recumbent. Next video will be on the supine position. To start, you want to put your patient on the opposite side, so they're laying on the opposite side of the one you're going to be treating. So I'm going to be treating the patient's left, you want the patient to be laying on the right side. You'll then want your patient to be in a stable position, meaning you'll have the patient bring their knees up, bend their knees. This is pretty stable, a lot more stable than if they're laying straight. Next, you'll have the patient's up arm, that's not on the table, cup their ear and make a point with their elbow. And with this down arm, you really want the patient to be comfortable. So this is comfortable for the patient, that's fine. However it's comfortable and however it's also stable. So when I pull on this shoulder, on this uh, elbow here, the patient should not move so much. Their whole upper body should not be wobbling. This is a good position. Next, you want to find the patient's rib angles. Now the rib angles, if you're not familiar with them, are the points in the patient's ribs along their back that you can palpate on the patient's back here and you'll feel bends on both sides of the patient's ribs. These are called the rib angles. We want to find the rib angles of the upside, the side closest to us, and you want to feel those with your fingers all the way down. Now you've located those, you put your cephalad hand, or the hand up near the patient's head, on top of this elbow, and your caudal hand back on those rib angles, all the way down. And what you want to do is you want to work the, your two hands in a rhythmic motion, almost like you're kneading. And with this caudal hand, you want to push, lat or excuse me, yes, laterally and anteriorly. So towards me and up on the patient essentially, in this manner, on those rib angles. You then want to use this hand on the elbow, your cephalid hand, essentially as a counterforce or a counterbalance, and you want to work in a rhythmic oscillating motion like this with your hands up and down the patient's spine. It may be easier to tell you if I just show you. Working on those rib angles, you're doing what's called rib raising, so you're really trying to push those ribs out and up. You're really trying to spread out the patient's ribs there. This technique is used to increase respiration and circulation of the patient. It also can be used in pre and post-op care. So we're finding those rib angles, working our way up and down the spine. Hands are working in an oscillating rhythmic motion, almost a kneading motion. And you're just going to do this for 20 to 30 seconds. Feels really good for your patient. Increases their circulation, their respiration. This isn't something you'll necessarily be able to feel with your hand very easily, but it is a good technique to do. To go into practice to get down the oscillating rhythmic motion too, using your two hands in an even fashion. And that is rib raising in the lateral recumbent position.